This lecture will help you distinguish between three types of renal tubular acidosis. The first type we will discuss is distal renal tubular acidosis. In type 1 RTA, the serum potassium level is low to normal. The urine pH is typically 5.5 or greater. Nephrolithiasis is a potential complication. And the urine calcium creatinine ratio is typically high. The second type is proximal renal tubular acidosis. In type 2 RTA, the serum potassium level is also low to normal. The urine pH is typically less than 5.5. Nephrolithiasis does not usually occur and the urine calcium to creatinine ratio is usually normal. And lastly, we will discuss type 4 renal tubular acidosis. In this type of RTA, the serum potassium level is typically high. The urine pH is lower than 5.5. As in type 2 RTA, nephrolithiasis is not a common complication, and the urine calcium to creatinine ratio is normal. So when it comes to differentiating between these three types of renal tubular acidosis, a high urine pH, that is a pH higher than 5.5, would suggest type 1 RTA, as a nephrolithiasis, and a high urine calcium to creatinine ratio. On the other hand, a high serum potassium would suggest type 4 RTA. But if neither the serum potassium is elevated, nor the urine pH, then we may be dealing with a type 2 RTA.